Today we'll talk about some of the different prosthetic feet that are available on the market today. There are many, many, many different types of feet that fit a wide range of activities for different people. So some are going to be very good at walking uh, around the neighborhood or community, and other feet even have features that can accommodate certain sports activities like golf or or uh, even as we've seen in the Olympics, running and other different types of feet. So we'll cover kind of the most basic types today so you, so you have an idea of what's available. A couple of things you'll want to know are the foot generally has some type of shape in it made of carbon fiber material that will store energy. The majority of feet today do. Uh, and then that, this shape of foot is put into a rubber type foot shell which can be uh, approximate a person's skin tone. So. Uh, using a prosthetic shoehorn, the foot will actually eventually be placed in here. So you won't, you really won't see any of this in in the actual foot when you get it. You'll probably really just see the the prosthetic foot from from here up on these feet. So that's the foot shell. Another thing you'll notice is your prosthetic foot will probably be also covered in a sock. So this sock here is called a spect spectra sock, and it's made of a special material that prevents this carbon material from tearing through the bottom of the rubber foot shell. So that's what you'll see inside um, inside your prosthetic foot. It'll kind of be hiding all of this and protecting it. So first, one of the basic feet that can be available is a foot like this. So it's a lower profile foot and it has a urethane core here that allows the foot to comply to uneven surfaces. There are many different feet that use urethane bumpers or urethane cores such as this in conjunction with a carbon spring. That's going to give you some multi-axial or ground compliance for uneven terrain and provide some shock absorption and the carbon spring here can provide some push when walking off, when, when, when pushing off during gait. Uh, these other feet, this is a very, very common foot here, so it has a nice J-shaped carbon uh, construction here. And so this foot is going to store energy at heel strike when it hits here. And as you roll over the foot and push off at heel, that energy is going to be released in this spring. So it's a very smooth foot to walk with. There's lots of different brands and types, but this general J shape in carbon is going to store and release energy very effectively. This is uh, essentially the same foot, but they've added a shock and torque absorber here. So again, there are lots of different brands or, or models, but this is just one. So inside here, there is a spring that allows you to get some shock absorption as well as torsion or twisting, which uh, we mentioned golf earlier. This is a, a, good, a good prosthetic foot for golf. Um, the, last, the last type of foot we'll talk about is um, this particular foot. It's called the proprio foot. And you can see that it has a battery pack. Um, and Oser, or the company that makes this, talks about the bionic technology here. But essentially, this foot adjusts to hills, whether up or down, and you're walking, the prosthetic foot will adjust within a certain range to, those, to that terrain. So these feet walk great on level ground, and you can often get by uh, with hills and declines, but they, they are going to react differently, and it's going to feel different when going up or down hills. So these, there's many different companies, again, that have come out with feet. Some are not controlled by a computer and battery like this. Some use simple hydraulics, uh, and there are several other computer options out there. But essentially, what they're doing is creating a foot that allows a prosthetic user to uh, adjust to terrain better than the traditional feet. It's a very good option, something to consider when, when you're looking for a prosthesis. And, uh, that's going to cover many of the basic types of prosthetic feet that are out there and available today. And you can talk with your prosthetist about this. There's certainly a whole other level of uh, what insurance companies will cover and what it takes to get these feet covered. And that's something you can talk about individually when the time comes. But here's a good overview of what's out available today.